Alright guys, this is Doc M and horses are the best. <laughs> They're so fast. <laughs> well, not all of them. Hey guys, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just running a little. So yeah, this horsey there is uh, part of the one percenter club. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, a lame horse. <laughs> it's so so slow. Um, JL gave it a nice name, by the way. Dog Slama Gaul. <laughs> this thing, how, what's the chances to get such a slow thing that it's even slower than normal sprinting? Yeah, I guess it's less than 1%, but this, this, uh, the speed value of it is 4%, which is super, super rare already. And <laughs> it's just as, as pretty much as slow as it gets. And yeah, slow, <laughs> slower than sprinting. <laughs> Yeah, that's an awesome horse. So yeah, we were inspired today, wanted to think about horses a bit and yesterday I wanted to do a test. I wanted to see if the normal piston elevators, you know, the normal design most people use, if the sticky pistons extending normal pistons and then pushing you up, work with horses. And yeah, it actually does. So let's check it out. Uh, I'm riding in here with my super slow horse. And voila, we made it up. Pretty cool, pretty fast. JL, um, you should check it out. Show together with the guys a pretty cool, <laughs> a pretty cool setup uh, for a pistonless horse elevator. So maybe someone with a normal horse can try it out and ride in there with a faster one. Um, where's the here, Panda? You got a Panda. better horse? Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, that seems to have a normal cruise speed. Let's see if it works as well. Yeah. <laughs> <Just as fine. laughs> yeah, it seems to work fine. So this is the one thing, um, piston elevator, um, the only adjustment you basically have to do to the normal designs is you have to have this 2x2 two two slot for the horses to go up um, in the yeah, normal piston designs. Based on this mechanic, you just have this one wide slot here, you know, and then yeah, it uses the same principle to push a player up. And another thing we wanted to show you, and we also want to do a quick little tutorial about that design, is a nice horse parking garage. So let's check it out. Let's take Lama Gaul. <laughs> <laughs> and whoop, here we are. Um, so over there, Panda is sitting on top of it. We just developed it this morning. As we heard, there was no snapshot. So we thought, let's make something useful. So yeah, here it is. You ride in with your horse, and when you get off your horse, you exit on the backside of the parking slot so to speak the horse is trapped in there it cannot get out it cannot walk out it's very clean and yeah you can either access your horse from the front side here just walking up to it and then the doors unlock and there's an uh, additional functionality of course for example if you have that integrated in your house and you would walk up from the back side and then you would just click and ride so yeah it's kind of a click and ride horse <laughs> garage <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, pretty simple design. want to show you uh, the trick uh, it is based on. You can see that over here. Um, I don't know if you know about that trick already, but if you have fence gate below carpet and if you unpower and power it, you can determine if people can walk through a too high gap. So right now the fence gate is closed. Maybe someone can pull the lever. And now it's open. See, same gap. Now you can get through. Um, it's known, but not super known yet. But it's a nice way to make uh, smooth, invisible doors, kind of. Pretty cool. So, all right. Um, I'd say let's quickly build up one of these horse stables. And you can see Panda is trying to pull out the horse. It, it cannot get out. Only if a player is on. So, yeah, that was the goal. So, let's build it. By the way, guys, another nice way to determine which horse is faster is a tug of war between horses. So yeah, we got JL and Philip. Philip is on my Lama Gaul uh, yeah, on the super this slow. Yeah, really fast horse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And JL is on a decently fast one. So what you do is you lead each other's horses up. So let's do that, guys. Just click on the opponent's horse, then you turn around, and then you start pulling. We have this red line. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, start already. Come, yeah. Philip. <laughs> <laughs> and no you chance. can clearly see um, JL um, yeah, is pulling Philip away. His horse is faster, so the strength of the horse is determined by the speed. So if you give the horse a speed buff, um, it even becomes stronger, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. So this is a nice and simple way. If you have two horses and you, yeah, you're on a server and you argue with your buddy, hey, my horse is faster. No, yours. No, mine. <laughs> then just do a tug of war and then you'll see. <laughs> so, okay. <laughs> Let's build the horse garage. 
All right, guys, so let's make one of these horse garages. Here is the building blocks you need. Not too many. Make us a click and ride, panda. <laughs> so you start off with these three slots, put down your pressure plates, and after that, the fence gates. Same trick we showed you over there. Then a few carpets on top. And now the redstone part, very simple. Redstone dot, two blocks, sticky piston facing down with a redstone block attached to it. And now the exact same thing on the other side. There we go. Now we just need to frame it in. A few blocks around it. Just like that. Very simple. Now two stairs. And now two blocks on top of the sticky pistons. Um, and now we need to attach the tripwire hooks, left and right. Two string in the middle, make sure it connects. Click. And there we go, that's the redstone part done. Now there's some yeah, purification or make it more pretty and more functional. So first of all, two blocks here in the back side and two upside down half slabs and a few stairs, just like that. So the horses cannot get out. And on the other side, two blocks again, two glass blocks. And then we just put a roof on. You can use half slabs or whatever you want. Um, yeah, however you want to make your things look. It's up to you, but it's important you have this too high gap here. And in the back, of course, also uh, yeah, this gap with the half slab there so the horses cannot escape. And yeah, that's about it. Very simple to do, works like a charm. I hope you like the design. Thanks a lot, Panda. Epic building. <laughs> that's it for today. Leave a like, guys. We are out. Thanks for watching. Bye.